Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play GeneForge, where we have started looking around the Pendle Plains last time, where all is not well. Someone is apparently laying siege to the place uh, with with siege thoughts. So uh, yeah, we'll see what this is all about. Hey people, your name Chesh. Uh, this band of servals is exhausted and demoralized. Their leader does his best to appear confident, as his warriors are ready to break and flee at any moment. Though he's almost asleep on his feet, his energy returns when you approach. He puts his hand on the pommel of his sword, drops to his knees, and bows his head. I had not even dared to hope. I had heard the rumors, but I... I welcome you, Shaper. I place myself and my men at your disposal. I am Chesh, Blade of Pentel. Oh, Blade. Shouldn't you be in the town, defending it? I guess I, they might not be here by choice, so... And he stands again. We are isolated, trapped and separated from home. Our losses have been great. Now that you are here, the tide will turn. Right. Uh, we'll see about that. I mean, that's the plan, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I'm low on supplies and require assistance. Right. Um, that's more like your line, I guess. Uh, what is this place? These are the fields where Pentel grows all of its food. Or it was until the rogues swept in from the north and blocked the city gates. The north. Where those nasty Vlish are patrolling? Hmm. Now it is a ruin, eagerly awaiting the wisdom of the Shapers to set it right. Yeah, well, I mean, not so sure about wisdom, but I do have a small army of, uh, you know, pretty uh, know, defensive creatures. <laughs> Things that are good at killing. So, uh, that might work. Tell me about Pentel. Uh, is this really the time for asking about general information, I suppose. It is the mightiest travel settlement. We are the only ones who have remembered you and stayed true to our duty. Right. Um, where are all the rogues from? The warriors shake their heads. We don't know. Once, Susha Island was peaceful and prosperous. A few years ago, the rogues started to come. and They kept coming more and more. Now they come in hordes. All right, and from the north, I guess. Fair enough. Um, tell me of your troubles. The west gate of Pentel is to the northeast. However, it is blocked. There are many rogues there, in a defensive position. We aren't strong enough to defeat them. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I suppose. There is not really all that many of you left. Uh, describe the forces to me. It would sound meager to your ears, Shaper. Perhaps ten thoughts and a half dozen Artila. Well, that sounds like a veritable army, honestly. The thoughts provide a buffer, while the Artila sear any who approach. Uh, why do you wait? Why don't you clear the gate? <laughs> uh, I mean, again, because there's only a handful of them, and they're already pretty beaten. He inspects you, trying to gauge how strong you are. His faith in you is great, but not absolute. We will, Shaper, but not yet. As I said, they are strong. Perhaps we might dislodge them, but it will ruin us. A cost we can't afford. Of course, with your help, we could slay the rogues easily. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not sure about easily. As a shaper, I command you, attack the gate now. Uh, you will have my assistance. I will be with you, attack the gate now. How are these different? I mean, if they actually start walking and attack, I could choose to uh, accompany them or not, no matter what I choose here. You'll have my assistance, you can attack the gate now. My mighty shaper powers will devastate them. Lie. Okay, and I can say the same thing, except then not follow them. So is this all going to happen automatically? Also, can I not just say, wait here? I'll, I'll deal with them myself? Because I, I certainly don't want to send them to their, to their guaranteed death. In fact, I'd rather not have them mingle in the fight at all. Sure, they might help, but they're also going to complicate things and make using any kind of AoE magic basically impossible. Okay, and I can't just hit escape and basically pretend that I I said that. That helps. There's a box over there and a, uh, a pot with some stuff that I'm free to take. Okay, I mean, I could. It's not super valuable. Hmm, more things. I mean, javelins are kind of useful, I guess. But uh, then again... I wonder if these things are not marked as stolen. 
because they uh, they are so in awe of me that they would allow me to take anything, even if it's supplies that they would that they could still use, or if it's more like a mechanical game mechanics thing, because apparently I can't send them to their death, and at that point, of course, it would be silly for these things to mark the stealing if the owners aren't alive anymore. Well, either way, I'm not going to take those things. I guess I will take slide in here. What? Several dead servers lost in recent combat have been placed in here. The bodies have been stripped of weapons and carefully arranged. Oh. Okay. I uh, will take that stuff that's just lying around, but I guess... Hmm. Stripped of armor? Stripped of weapons. Yeah, but not armor. Uh, you know what? It's, it's silly, but I'm going to not actually pilfer that body out of respect. I'm not that desperate. What is this? This is a storeroom for seed and farming supplies. Okay, so probably... Oh, never mind. Much more useful things in here. And some gold. Or, well, copper, technically. Some flour. Okay, are we going to find a, a, like a secret sneaky tunnel past the enemy lines, perhaps? Something that's uh, it's open via tool use? We are... Or, Mechanics, I guess, in this game. Oh, more stuff. Don't mind if I do. Because I suppose there must be some sort of solution, some some way to deal with the situation in a you know completely non-combat way. I guess you could send those guys uh, into the fight and then just sneak past them, assuming the the path is not blocked physically. There's a door here that we were able to open, and it's actually not a secret passage, but just a spell of some sort. Cure Affliction. Ah, okay. Reduces duration of all afflictions, yes, including charms. I failed to notice that during the the warp fight. Obviously, I could have saved... Um, who was it that we lost? Well, whoever it was that we lost, um, as I noticed after the fact. Anyway, uh, each extra point of the skill increases the amount amount of duration reduced, I guess, yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously. I don't think the spell mentions exactly how much. Uh, oh, eight, eight hostile effects. Wait. Or is it literally the amount of hostile effects reduced? Could, could any single unit ever have that many individual effects? Active at the same time? I, I mean, I hope not. I hope never to be in that situation. I'm assuming that a higher level of the spell actually does reduce more more turns of active debuffs. All right. Well, looks like there might not be any any tunnels that completely bypass things. All right. Here we have another siege start. All right. Level five. But how many of them are going to be there? Ten. Or did they count the ones that were patrolling? We have those uh, Artillas. We'll save the game here, for sure. Ah, from here you see that the west approach to Pentel has been blockaded. There is a mob of Thoughts and Artillas. They sit there, patiently waiting. Servals have tried to break through the crowd before. Scorched earth and bones show how that story ended. Uh, though they are mere creations and simple creations at that, even you will have a hard time dealing with this mob. Um, well, we'll see about that. I guess there's a pretty good chance that that's true. He's a level 5. Not a lot of health. Seems pretty much like exactly like uh, other Artillas I've seen. You know what? If we can... Well, I just saved the game, so either way it's not much of a risk that I'm taking, if at all. I'm going to position myself here. And if nothing else, I can daze at least three of these and deal with one. We'll see. In fact, if I walk here... Why not walk all the way as close as I can? And then uh, I guess that way we could deal with one of the RT loss first. Okay, good. I'm poisoned, but I didn't take a lot of damage. Seems like these are also going to join, but um, a second daze might help. All right, that's almost half of its health already gone. 
Maybe only this one is coming? No, I think I saw both of them move. Hmm. Well, I don't see ten thoughts and half a dozen. Well, actually, yeah, if you if you do count the ones that were patrolling, maybe that was a total of ten or so. But assuming the gate is right here, and there is not an army waiting up here, but there's not a whole lot of room left, so... I feel like we might be able to do this. Hmm. Well, that one's coming... I guess I should probably cure myself. Um, do I want to move first? Because I can't move after that. Um, that's gonna... Curing takes four or five? I'm not sure now, but... I should be able to take two steps. And maybe attack from here? Mm. Not sure. I think it might actually only take four. Oh wait, it says right there that it takes six. Okay, never mind. I'm done. Okay, they have moved into position, but that's good. I, I was hoping for them to gather like this. Yeah, you can walk there and start punching that guy and daze him, which is useful. So you walk there, attack that guy. Oh. Right, they can leap. Ah, oh, he's almost dead, but he's actually poisoned. Perfect. Okay, of course, now we have to... Days... Oh. Okay, taking one extra step is not going to allow me to... Days that Artila. However, that's fine if we can... Get these four. Nice, okay, that worked. That one's dead. Um, you're active. I guess we have to deal with this guy here. Oh, okay. I guess it's a good thing that he decided to change targets. Alright, he's dead. I'm actually going to drink a potion. No one's poisoned right now. Um, I guess I'll just attack. 16. Oh, he shielded. Oh. Got that they can do that. Critical, 19, awesome. Okay, who's about to wake up? You probably? Uh, yeah, dazed for one turn. Actually, the shield doesn't really last all that long. By the time, tame, by the, by the time they come out of daze, it's already going to be gone for the most part. Well, okay, this one's actually about to break out. It's about to break free. Good one, I like. One more thorn. Uh, you woke up. Honestly, this seems pretty, pretty doable. I could have you jump into the fight, but right and now I have to. Uh, actually, I can. Oh, yeah. I guess I'll just switch to normal javelins and use one. I could use a fireball. No need for me to conserve energy at this point. Let's see here. Two more turns and one more turn. Honestly, that's okay. We can probably mostly kill this guy. With a good hit, we might... We would have been able to finish him off. Nine health. So one more attack is going to do it. Yeah. Like so. Okay, he woke up. He's gonna die, actually. There, have a javelin. And that finished you off, and you died. Alright, and that one dropped things? Maybe that's because it was the last one? I wonder. You have shattered the ranks of the rogues, which was surprisingly easy. I guess um, we have a pretty strong party going here. Uh, quite a bit of damage. Honestly, I still like the the poison effect, um, although Artie's damage is definitely a little bit lackluster. Not gonna lie. I hope I get access to the second, to the the stronger or presumably stronger other version of these, and maybe maybe that's gonna be a little bit better at direct damage. We'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, otherwise it, that worked out pretty well. You have shattered the ranks of the rogues. Pentel will easily be able to lift the blockade now. This area has been freed. All right. Indeed, it is as expected. 
Cool. And what else? Um, first of all, okay. So that one, iron sword, steel gauntlets is what we already have. Right. Okay. Otherwise, just junk. Yeah, it's interesting. I assume it was not just a coincidence that the last enemy I killed dropped loot. Maybe that's just how these these group fights are programmed. Um, ooh, shielding band. Just like that? I mean, we don't have a magical ring yet, so I'm, I'm going to take that. Obviously, just extra protection is not the most exciting thing, but I'll take it. Another... Uh, an animal used to use this to keep the insides from falling out. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like that. And apparently it's just for selling. Alright. Uh, rogue wastes northwest, thorny fence southwest. Right, and obviously pendle right here. Yep. Sure enough. Fancy with statues and everything. Okay. Well then, I guess we'll check this out real quick. Probably save the game too. Um, this was a guard post for the village of Pentel. It was abandoned and then ransacked. Okay. Uh, well, since this body was not dragged here by his friends, I guess it's okay to loot it. That's how that works, right? Iron Sword, uh, Fiery Wand, which we already have. And of course, those don't stack, which makes sense. Uh, I since I'm unlikely to actually use them, because they're so awkward to use, I guess I'm just going to sell the already used one and keep the new one. Uh, right, and now we're going to return to our friends here, to uh, Chesh, and tell him that he no longer needs to charge. I wonder if he's going to be relieved that the fighting is over, or... I don't know. We're scolding, or, is, or if he's going to scold me for, you know, not letting them fight. Uh, tell me if it troubles, I guess. The west gate of Pentel is to the northeast, however, it's blocked. Uh, I mean, not anymore. You are aware that I've already broken the Artila force and cleared the blockade. Uh, I mean, how would he be if they never moved out of this, this hidey hole here? Let's just assume I didn't exactly word it that way. Chesh looks ac acutely embarrassed. Oh, I I admit our scouts have not been very alert. Up, men! We will now retake the gate. Yeah, I mean it's there's. I guess you still have to officially retake it, even if there are no enemies left. As they prepare to leave, Chesh says, "Shaper, if you could spare a great kindness to your lowly servants, could you escort us to the gate? We are weak, and we may need protection if more rogues arrive." Yeah, sure, I guess. I don't think that's really necessary, but I guess what's going on is that. Um, these NPCs are just scripted to move toward the gate, no matter what, of, which one of those options I, uh, I would have picked. And, you know, if they had encountered any enemies here... Did I just see a... like an enemy indicator on the map? I did. Oh, interesting. So I guess there are still some rogues around, or I guess again, because I'm pretty sure I've dealt with everything that was patrolling around here. I'm not entirely convinced that things do not respawn. Anyway, um, yeah, so if the enemies had still been here, then they would have just engaged them, I guess. And I could have chosen to assist or just stand back and watch. And probably watch them all die. I, I mean, I guess I didn't check their levels, so they might have won, actually. Probably suffered some losses, though. And I would have felt bad uh, and felt compelled to actually keep them alive. So, yeah. Anyway, Pentil, this is a friendly settlement. For now, at least. I mean, we are allied with their, well, not enemies, but I guess rivals in in, uh, in belief. Pentel. You enter the village of Pentel. Once, this was a large shaper fort, probably the administrative center. Now servals are nestled in the ruins. As you enter, the effect on the servals is dramatic. They stare at you in awe. Considering how independent the servals and Vakiri were, the change is remarkable. Some of the servals fall to their knees. One of their guards walks up to you, staring at the ground and shuffling his feet. Shaper, welcome to Pentil. In the name of the Abayers, we welcome you. We are grateful that you have returned to rule and guide us at last. Oh yeah, I mean, sorry to disappoint you, but that's not really what I'm here for. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll be able to uh, correct that mis, uh, 
misunderstanding, that misconception, as soon as I get to talk to the, uh, the officials here. He shuffles back to his post, not daring to look directly at you. When you meet the gaze of these meek creatures, they look away. For once, the servants are acting like you expect. Or, well, I guess, like I expected when I first came to the island. But obviously at this point, after spending probably weeks on this island, um, I should have adjusted my, my expectations. Uh, as you enter Pendle, you hear quiet muttering. Though the servants look at you with awe and fear, there is more. They are very uncomfortable. As you walk past a pair of guards, you hear one of them whisper to the other, The Shaper is one of the Awakened. The Shaper is not true. What do we do? Do we obey? The other guard shakes his head, having no idea. Huh. Okay. Obviously that uh, wouldn't have been there if we had not joined the Awakened, or it would have been different if we had somehow made it past here and joined the, uh, the Takers first. Which seems difficult, but it's probably possible. I mean, I'm assuming there is technically a way to bypass Pentel entirely. Right, we also are supposed to find Pixley. Well, and meet the, the leader officially, so I guess that's what I'm going to try and do first. A hall of the Obeyers. Could this be it? This massive hall is arranged with rows of crude benches. An old shape of throne salvaged by the Obeyers is at the far end. It is too large for the servals, but they use it anyway. Uh, this is the meeting hall of Pentel and the heart of the Obeyer sect. From here, the plans of the servals are set into motion. The plans, huh? I mean, I guess they have been... They must have been doing something for the past 200 years. Uh, all with the sole intention of pleasing the Shapers. Well. Right. Uh, yes, Obeyer Hall. Leader Rydell. That is exactly who I was told to talk to. You face the leader of Pentel, an old servile sitting on his throne. You are trained to look at creations and evaluate their mental state. You have never met a creation so conflicted. Hmm. Even... And that's before having talked to him. Finally, he says, Shaber, I have heard of your arrival. I, I am awed and grateful that you have returned to us at last. I am Rydell. I am the leader of the Obeyers, the only sect that has stayed steadfast and true to you. We know that you are alone here. Rogues hunt you, as they do us all. We hope that you have come to assist us and to reward us for our obedience. He watches you expectantly. I mean, if you know that I'm by myself and being attacked here um, without any supplies, then uh, you must know that I have very little that I could reward you with, but uh, I will try to assist you if I can. Your obedience pleases me, I will look after you. I mean, I wouldn't put it like that. I don't need your obedience, I would rather you act freely. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I su suppose that's probably what I'm going to end up picking. I don't like how Servals and Susha Island have developed. I, I need to take control. All right, okay, so... Um, hmm. Both option one and three are uh, similar, except one is uh, taking control with, you know... I don't know. Like, benevolently. And the other is taking control with an iron fist. Um, just passing through, I don't want to get involved... Well, it's actually kind of true, because honestly, these people can just do what they what they feel is right, so long as they don't bother me with it. But um, since I am officially with the Awakened, I guess I might as well pick option number two here. Okay, that completes the quest. Good to know. No, no experience, though. Hmm. The Serval has spent many years in command, plotting and scheming. He has now come face to face with what he has worshipped for many years. Uh, awe and cunning fight within him as he tries to decide how to deal with you. Rydell is confused. I... Uh, what? Have there been changes? In the ways of servants, I mean. We have been out of contact for a long time. What... What do you want here, Shaper? We obeyers can provide shelter and information. We only need to hear what you want. Uh, I mean, I... I wouldn't mind shelter and information. Just don't expect me to be your your savior, I guess. Uh, I want to learn more about the bears. I wish to discuss affairs on this isle with you. Tell me of this village. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, we'll just go starting from the top. I want to learn more about the bears. Gladly, Shaper. My life is centered around our beliefs. I think they will be pleasing to you. Yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be so sure. We want nothing but to show your kind the obedience to owe you. We owe you as our creators. We were saddened to hear yours. you support the Awakened. They hope to deal with you as equals, but we are not your equals, not at all. 
We hope that one day you will renounce them and ally with us. Um, can I just say that that's not going to happen? Tell me more of the of Aaron's beliefs. Uh, even more, huh? What sort of things have you done on this island in our name? I want to support you. You have served as well, and this island must be obedient to the shame. Hmm. Uh, what sorts of things have you done on the island in our name? I'm glad you asked, Shaper. We have attempted to maintain your structures, like this one. I see. We kept ourselves trained in the skills of in the skills you require. In addition, we have interfered as much as we can with the rogue survival sects around us. Interfered how? However, we could. If the awakened or the takers gain strength, their ideas might escape Susha Idol. Uh, Susha Isle, and in fact others. So we have maintained the servant mines, harassed rogue villages, kept them from needed supplies, and so on. For example, we kept the servant mine control four to the west alive and well. Uh -huh. This has helped keep Vakiri small and weak, and thus unable to spread their anti-shaper views. Can I not react to that at all? I mean, I guess I've already dealt with the situation one way or the other, so there is no need for, for any words, but... Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, Shaper, we bears are ever eager to obey. Of course you are. Um, tell me more of the bears' beliefs, I guess. It will be simple, Shaper, for our beliefs are exactly those of you and your people. Well, my people, perhaps. You are our creators. We were not there, we were not there, and then we were, through your will. I guess that's true. The Awakened say that our debt to you for our creation has been paid off. This is not true. Even if it can be paid, it will take many, many more years of true obedience and service. Note, however, that we only serve the true shapers, who follow the shapers' true beliefs. If we feel that a shaper has been twisted from the will of its kind, we will not obey. <laughs> I mean, that's very interesting. That's, um, that's pretty close to an open threat, honestly, after it's been already established that I am, you know, officially, officially with the Awakened. And, uh, well, uh, when should Servals be allowed to ignore the Shapers? That's a good question. I'm impressed by your wisdom. Uh, you deserve to be re rewarded for your loyalty. Uh, yeah, honestly, I don't know. I guess their dedication is commendable in a way, but on the other hand, also not. And also, I'm not the one to, <laughs> to commend them or reward them, I think. You have not done the right thing. You owed us no obedience once we left. You should have used your freedom to develop your own beliefs. I mean, that's kind of what I think, but again, I, I kind of, I'm kind of okay with them doing and worshipping and believing whatever they feel is right, even if I think it's stupid. Uh, so I'm not really here to, to lecture them. I'm just hoping to, you know, deal with them, assist them, and gain assistance in return. But um, it doesn't seem like that's going to be an option, I guess. I guess I, I can be, I should be happy if, if uh, I end up not making them my enemies. But uh, yeah, I don't know. After this talk about true shapers and not true shapers, I'm not so sure anymore. True shapers, how can you decide whether a shaper's beliefs are valid or not? You know what? That's actually a good question. <laughs> I mean, how, how could you, how do you assume to actually judge whether a shaper is, you know, has a right to, to control you? Or to rule you? It is a difficult question, and one we have much discussed. We owe obedience to true shapers, but not false ones. What do we do if two shapers say different things? I mean, it's only a problem once there is more than one shaper on the island, right? For now, we decided to follow what the shapers taught us before they left. It is the best we can do. I mean, that's fair, I suppose. When should servos be allowed to ignore the shapers? Someday, perhaps. Maybe the debt for our creation can be paid. That will be for shapers to decide, though, not us. Okay, well then, here's a shaper. I'm, I decided that your debt is paid off. Huh, and now I can only choose between these two. Well, I mean, honestly, I'd rather just not say any of these things. Oh, and that is that is an option, even though it's a bit awkward to just exit the conversation like that. Um, I, I guess I wish to discuss affairs on the aisle with you. Um, in other words, I'd like some quests, please. Of course, Shaper. I wish that I had better news. There are outsiders on the isle. Yeah, we've, I've heard as much. Invaders. We do not know where they are from or what they want. If we knew you were a true Shaper and not a rebel, we could share information with you. You would have to be our ally first, though. Yeah, okay, well, I guess no information for me then. 
because that's not going to happen. <laughs> I want to leave the island. Where can I find a boat? Uh, straight to the point. Rydell looks startled. After centuries for, uh, of waiting for shapers to return, it did not occur to him that upon your return, you would immediately want to leave. Still, he is obedient, for now. I do not generally think of such things, but I heard Pixley speak of a boat recently. She is in town somewhere. Okay, I mean, that's convenient because I'm supposed to talk to her as well. I think, was it the merchant in Vakiri who told us to talk to his fellow merchants? Pixley and someone else over by the takers? Uh, anyway, I guess we'll talk to her soon and find out more. If you are a bayer, shouldn't you obey me now by helping me? Um, that's a kind of an odd thing to say, but maybe. But we don't know if you truly if you truly follow the laws of the shapers. In fact, you pretty much know that I don't at this point. I, I mean, uh, this, I don't know. This this whole conversation has been a little bit awkward, honestly. Especially, especially here, it doesn't feel entirely appropriate. But I, I get that there are like dozens and dozens of possible permutations between, you know, uh, what my character chose to do up to this point and might be planning to do in the future. So, and, you know, obviously there can only be so much dialogue to reflect all the various different choices that you might make. So if it if it doesn't always match 100%, you know, I, it's understandable. I just find it a little bit... I don't know the right word. It's fine. Um, but we don't know if you truly follow the laws of the Shapers. If you are on Susha Island for forbidden reasons? Forbidden by whom? Sharing information with you might help you. Oh, right. So, in other words, if I'm not a true Shaper, but, yeah, here for non-Shaper reasons, then you wouldn't want to give me the information so as to not help me, is what you're trying to say. If you were to become our ally, we would know that we could tr that we could trust you. Radell is cunning for a survival, for all his obedience to your kind. He is determined to get assistance for his people. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I'm, I'm again, I'm willing to assist, just not in the exactly the same way that he had imagined, perhaps. How valuable is this information? Radell's voice is grim. Shaper, horrible things have been happening on Susha Island. The highest crimes against your kind. You sense that he truly believes what he's saying. We can help you to destroy a dark power. First, though, we must be absolutely sure you won't claim that power for your own. Uh, I mean, I have no idea what kind of, <laughs> of dark power we're talking about, so... I mean, obviously I didn't come here with any such plans, and I don't have any plans to use that dark power right now. And I don't think whether I, I end up... Uh, Taking and using that power for myself, for my, myself, myself, uh, has anything to do with whether I officially ally myself with them or not. But I, I guess I, I understand where they're where they're coming from. But uh, yeah, again, I guess I'll have to look for that information elsewhere. Uh, tell me of this village, I said. I suppose <clears throat> this is the largest survival settlement on Susha. We have worked hard to make it so. We want we wanted to be ready for when the shapers return. Still, we face many threats. It has been hard. Note awakened how much more glorious how much more glorious our settlement is than Vakiri. Our obedience to our true Shaper Masters has made us strong. Well, I mean that and just uh, being the first to 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 uh, claim this abandoned already existing fortified uh, structure. I guess that helped as well. Anyway, um, I guess you have been maintaining it and you know maintaining this large settlement, so that is commendable to an extent how have you obeyed us in our absence have i not asked that question before for each of the tasks the shapers have servals perform we have one group which carries it out we train each new generation to serve as the ancestors to serve as the ancestors have served please shaper speak with their so with the servals here note their skill and loyalty our loyalty has made us strong and prosperous i'm sure tell me more about the robes I would, but I think you would best learn of the threats which face us from those who must deal with them directly every day. Find Mikkel. He can tell you much. And Shaper, if you're feeling merciful and kind, please help us. Recently our difficulties have been great. Right. I mean, okay. I guess I'm, we're not getting uh, any quests, you know, mundane quests to deal with the local threats directly from him, but from various people around town, which is fine by me. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess ultimately I'm glad that he didn't just uh, declare me a, a false false shaper and, uh, you know, turn the entire town hostile against me. But uh, at the same time, we also didn't really gain much. But I guess that was to be expected. What is this book about? A bear's Reminder. Every moment of happiness you ever have is because of the shapers. And sadness too. Yeah, I mean, I suppose in a way. All satisfaction at work properly performed is because of a shaper and is owed. Uh, your, your owed? S wait. Satisfaction? Wait, no. Uh, the, the shapers are owed your satisfaction at your work? I, I don't know. Okay, it's starting to get weird. The joys of food, of children, and song all comes from the shapers and can be taken if one is wise. Uh... What? If who is wise? The joys can be taken if if you're wise? Oh, wise as in... Okay, I see. You're not supposed to be wise. You're supposed to obey. And then you have joy. Uh, okay. Maybe worded a bit weirdly. All wisdom and guidance comes from the shapers. Shaper errors only lead to pure faith, a uh, pure truth. Uh, okay. So shapers do sometimes make errors, but those are good because they are shapers. Makes sense to me. All protection comes from the shapers. The shapers are the greatest of powers. Right. Okay. Uh, we must be thankful and we must obey. All comes from the shapers. You guys are absolutely crazy. Okay. Well, I, I guess that conversation ultimately went as well as it could have. Okay. What have we here? Pick the lock for six living tools. Yeah. No. Obviously, that's something we would uh, otherwise... Uh, get a key to to open from Rydell. Maybe we get a chance to actually, you know, help the obeyers, even if we don't officially join them or support their cause. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. What is this? A girdle of strength. Um. All oh, right. Have we not found that one? Or was it a girdle of agility? I think it was one or the other that we got somewhere. And I decided not to use it because um, we have a, a magic focus one. Yeah. I mean, I could still take this because I don't really care much for these guys. And I'm not being watched, so... Yoink. Okay, nothing else here. Don't mind me. Of course, they wouldn't su suspect the shaper who passed through here once they notice uh, that that girl is missing. Uh, what else do we have here? Stairs. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> literally the stairs we just used. Although I said upstairs area didn't seem particularly important, though. Not sure why the stairs are specifically marked. I guess all stairs are, maybe. Uh, always think of the true will. Always. Farmer, farmer. I guess the farmers uh, have taken refuge inside the, the town walls while the the siege was going on. This is one of the servals who grow food and raise meat for Pentel. Her hard work has given her rough hands and strong muscles. Not a surprise. Many servals come home. Uh, many servals back home work as farmers. She looks up at you in awe, clearly seeing the savior of her kind. Word of your acts has gotten around. Yeah? I mean, I guess I have helped some. So it was just not the ones around here. Is there anything I can do for you, mighty shaper? Just ask. I'm looking for information. Is there anyone here who can help me? I mean, that would just point me in Rydell's direction, I guess. Uh, tell me about your farm. It is outside the West Gate. Now that the gate has been cleared, we all start. We are starting to return to our lands. We will repair the damage. Oh, I guess it was specifically referring to me uh, dealing with the with the, with the thoughts outside. Or the, I guess, all the rows outside. That makes sense. Um, I'm looking for information. Rydell is our leader, and the one with the most knowledge. He's the leader of the Obeyers. I know that he would be honored by a visit. His hall is at the west side of the central building. Right. You're a farmer? <laughs> can I have some food? No. Never mind, you can return to your work. Uh, yes. What is this? Uh, learn Jeffy, the sage. Hello, Jeffy. Though the servants of Pencil claim total obedience to the Shapers, it is very strange what you find in here. It is a Shaper laboratory. Wait, though? 
they claim total obedience? Hmm. Uh, isn't it particularly strange because they are claiming total obedience? Uh, anyway. Uh, it is a shaper laboratory once used for shaping new creations. It has been scrupulously maintained by the Servals. It also looks like, despite the absence of shapers for many years, this lab has been in use. The Servals here seem to have been trying to use shaper powers on their own. Very strange and forbidden. Yeah, exactly. That's that's odd. This bears further investigation. Hmm. Nah, eh, I don't really care. No, just just joking, of course. Uh, 40 minutes, though. And this is a huge town. I guess we'll talk to this one person here and then call it an episode. Because, I don't know. I feel like this is going to be more interesting and satisfying than the conversation with, with Rydell. Um... You meet an old Serval alchemist. That is what he must be, as strange as it is. Servals can be used as laboratory assistants, but this one clearly aspires to be something more. Yeah, I mean, with no one to assist, I guess he must become his own master, huh? Mm, you smell the sulfur stink of living fires nearby. Well, in fact, I can even see them. Welcome, Shaper, the old Serval says. I am Jaffe, of the Obeyers. I have been here long and learned much. I am sure there is much you want to know about this isle. I can help you. What sort of work are you doing here? What is this lab for? Do not fear, Shaper. I am not following the arts forbidden to us, Servals. I would never attempt to try to make my own creation. I have been trying to tame existing creations. I would control rogues and have them fight for us instead of fight for us instead of against us. I expose them to training, to beating, and to es to essence, and appeal to their natural obedience to true Shaper thoughts. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> does it work? It does. Sometimes. Sort of. Most of the rogues we capture do not survive the taming. A few have. All Fioras. They fight for us now in some places. We need all the defenders we can get to survive. That's only fair. Uh, tell me some of what you have learned. Jeffy bows his head. I am ashamed, Chaper. I cannot bear to expose my ignorance to you. It would be too humiliating. You try to convince him to help you, but his shame is too great. Okay. Well, that's, that's kind of lame. Um, there is much I would like to learn from you. I, Basically gonna uh, have the same result, though, right? I'm sure there is. However, I can only share my knowledge with an ally of the Obeyers. Oh, so you have things to teach me, just not me. Not right now. Uh, I know much, and I cannot afford to aid anyone we are not sure follows the true designs of the Shapers. Okay, well, that's, that was ultimately a little bit disappointing after all. Uh, at least we have these pools here. Yep, not that we need restoration pools in an already friendly settlement. I guess it might not be friendly forever, necessarily. Uh, five living tools. Okay. Hey, Masked Sun. What? Srinivasa. This Fiora is rogue. You can tell it in an instant. However, the servants here have trained and beaten it into submission. It acts tame for now, but you know that it can turn on them at any moment. So kind of like my own. Interesting. Level 10. Hmm. Masked Sun. I mean, Srinivasa sounds like a, like a Sanskrit, perhaps? Hmm. Interesting names. I'm sure they're references to something. Uh, Learn Jeff. Well, okay. Uh, that, was, that was something. That was our first encounter in here, I guess. Well, the second, technically. Um... And there are definitely plenty of more, plenty more NPCs to talk to, including uh, Pixley and I forget his name, Ma Mackel or something, Mackerel, uh, who we are supposed to talk to, maybe get some quests from, and well, we'll see. Um, maybe not all, maybe not all our, our conversations are going to be as uh, disappointing and unproductive as the ones we've had so far. Um, and I guess we'll see if we get any pointers in new directions. Obviously, well, there is another exit here that's going to lead to a new area, if nothing else, and possibly more more connections to other areas in the two remaining directions as well. So we will, at the very least, get new places to visit once we're done here. So there's that. And I guess we always have the third settlement to, to uh, go visit and uh, be disappointed in. <laughs> well, maybe not. Uh, let's, let's try to be positive. Uh, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.